Japanime Games has been making games for a very, very long time and they came to prominence when they released Tanto Kuore, a game that was really controversial at the time and yet it has been going strong just like it has been going strong with Heart of Crown Fairy Garden. This is a game that's been going for a while. I think it came out in 2011, give or take. So more than an unboxing, this is going to be a has it uh, passed the test of time when we open this game? I'm saying, will it be worth the amount of money that you have to spend to get your hands on it? So play we all. So Heart of Crown is a standalone expansion for Fairy Garden, so it means that you don't need the original game to play this at all. And as I said, it's been going on for a while. This is a game for two to four players that played in about 30 to 60 minutes, ages 13 and up. The cover is absolutely beautiful. This is this super cute uh, manga character who looks like he's having some sort of existential crisis by the sense of loneliness and bereft in those beautiful blue eyes. Um, I don't know how they managed to do that with such few amount of lines, but yet it is expressive as hell. I really love them for that. The back is a little bit more colorful, uh, uh, more, I don't know, atmospheric so to speak, and it says that the Fae will make themselves known to the Empire. What will happen, happen to the Succession? I don't know. We just finished the last episode of Succession a few days ago and oh my god, what an ending it was, but that's got nothing to do with this game, so I don't know why I'm bringing it up, but never mind that, let's continue with the game. So, uh, uh, Heart of Crown has a very long uh, introduction here, you know, um, I'm not going to read it because it's, it's a bit too much. So I'm just going to open the box, shall I, and see what's inside. And I'm really very, very curious to see how this has uh, passed the test of time, if uh, this looks as interesting now as it did when it first came out all those years ago. Uh, the box is quite standard, uh, it doesn't have any extra strong cardboard or anything, but it's laminated, it feels very nice, and it's going to be probably quite resistant, which is very good. Ooh, loads of cards in here, blimey. And tokens are inside as well, it says, ooh, this is going to be a good one. Right, the rule book is long, let's make no mistake about this, we are on 30 pages. The layout is very clean, and I love that. Good, it has a table of content, which is quite nice. A rule summary. Um, the size of the font is large enough. I'm finding interesting that here, uh, you know, in the rule summary, they have had to decrease the size of the font to make it all fit in one single page, which, thank God for that. And then the card anatomy. We have one apparently princess cards, common cards, basic marker cards, rare cards, so four different types of cards. Is it more than that? So we have one main type, princess cards, action cards, attack cards, territory, succession, calamity, and subtype cards. We have the description of all the symbols and the special terms. Getting ready to play. And 10 procedure. Uh, this feels like one of these games that take a lot longer to explain than it takes to actually play and once you learn the movements it's going to go very very fluidly. That's the feel I'm getting from it. But then to be honest most of these collectible card games tend to be similar. Uh, we get on page 20 we start an FAQ. 
which is good. They have taken plenty of time, sorry, some time and space to set up all of these things. And then we have some variant rules from page 26, which is nice. Okay, so yes, this is going to require at least, I would say, a couple of hours just to get through the rules and learn to play the game. Inside the box, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven appear upon decks of cards. A uh, piece of styrofoam. Yes, the box is uh, bent because it suffered on transit. That's what happens when you bring games from Germany sometimes. And we get a few tokens that are, uh, you know, inside this cardboard sort of protect area so they are not rolling all over the place that's actually quite clever it's a very cheap way to make a separator but leave in plenty of space for more cards to come up if the game expands so okay let's look first at this a seemingly fake cards let's see if I can open this it's enough I need a Stanley knife I need a Stanley knife so I can open this without ah, having to use my teeth. Like now. You didn't see that. No, literally, you, you didn't see that. Okay. So these are car cardboard cards. So there is no back to them at all. It seems quite unusual. And then we get the spy. Pilgrim, Hearth, Spirit, a Messenger, Fairy of the Spring Breeze, and all with the same color. Monochromatic green. I don't know why they choose that color, but. With different numbers, which I don't know what they mean, of course. I love the illustrations, I have to say. Super cute. Not the one with a broken heart, that's very sad. But the rest, they're actually quite quite cool. I wonder why they left them in monochrome. Interesting, okay. That's the first of the very many decks of cards we're going to find in this game. Let's open another one. And this one has a means of opening it more easily, theoretically. Which I appreciate, yeah, not, not theoretically at all, but very practically, it opens very nicely. Mm -hmm. Oh, blimey, this, oh, this is good. These are very thick cards, I love that really love that. The only thing I don't love is the text on the cards is quite small and it's got an awful lot of text attached to it. So I can see without my glasses. Uh, you, oh wow this is going to take me a while to read. You may banish one territory card from your hand. If you do, each my eyesight is suffering. Uh, I'm not going to keep trying. It's a little bit bigger. That's good. X is equal to the number of crossbow regiments in your discard pile plus two. Each of your opponents who have five or more. Okay, so very long descriptions, I have to say. But illustrations are very good. The printing is great. And I cannot tell you uh, enough how thick these cards are and how good they feel in the hand. So I wonder if every single deck is going to be the same. So I'm going to find out because I'm going to open another deck just to figure it out. Okay, let's 
open these. And yes, it's exactly the same. All the same back. And we keep the very cool illustrations. See, these eyes I can understand. Discard a farming village or curse from your hand. If you do, draw three cards. Okay, that's nice. But when we get into very small text, I mean, this is easier to read because they are on a, on a brighter background. But at the moment you put things in a dark background and you don't have enough contrast, then people like me, yes, with dyslexia, have it a lot, a lot harder to do. Shall we open another one? Just the last one, last one, I promise, okay? But from the other side of the box. So let's try this one. Or this one. Dunno, this one. Why not? Okay. Same sort of cards. But we have here different type because we have a different back. And we have the spire. Well, these are like the cardboard ones that we've seen earlier. But in different color. Okay. Then we have this goes here. These are different. So we have more characters, which are quite nice. I love how cute they are. Super mega cute. And that's it. Um, I mean, the rest of the game I could open it. I could do the uh, the rest of the unboxing, but it's going to be pretty similar to this. So, what's the point? You get you 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 get it. What you're going to be getting when you buy this. And last but not least, let's take a look at those tokens. They came they come already unsprued into the bag. These are just the standard tokens, good printing, quite bright even though these icons are way too small to really figure out what they are. I don't think they need this mega large, comparatively speaking mega large of course, frame here. They could have made it a bit bigger to make it a bit easier to see. And these are coins of values of one and five and then these with a little picture in them we have a few fair few of these so that's it this is heart of crown fairy garden
I have to say I am slightly put off by the size of some of those letters in those cards which is going to make it very difficult for me to read easily even in very good lighting conditions like I have now so I will need to think twice about how I'm going to play uh, this game and also no maybe it's just our age but my friends also need glasses to read so uh, we'll have to decide once we take a proper look at these cards if we're going to really get on and play this game or not because that was a little bit painful what, what do you make of it have you played this have you tried it any good any advice should i make the effort please 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 let me know in the comments i would love to hear what you have to say meanwhile though thank you very very much for being there it is truly appreciated and until the next time i will talk to you very very soon so play wheel